right, guys, it is that time of the week to feed my roommates. Yeah. I got it to work. Yo, 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 yo. Hello, hello. Hello. Thank you to my audience of trash. Poor people and all that. <laughs> Look. You know, as I get older, I need to remember these things to pass down to my kids. Today we're making complaints. Thank you, guys. I cried already. Happy, Happy New Year, New Year. everyone! Ah. Hi, everyone. I am currently at our ABG headquarters, aka Janet's home, and I'm doing something I haven't done in a while here, and that's laundry. My place doesn't have a laundry machine, or we have one that you just go downstairs and you like put a few quarters in, but it's not very good. Like it's always packed. The laundry machine isn't clean, so I'm just like, ugh, what, why? Here's my laundry. Don't see my underwear. Hi, Janet. Hi, welcome to Janet's laundromat. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. She doesn't charge me. <laughs> yeah. How nice. Only okay. for Mel, Mel discount. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is happening in Miss Melody's life right now on the boyfriend? Um, Non-existent. So um, I did ask Janet um, and her friend <laughs> to help set me up. And that is in the works. Wait, is this your sock? Oh my God, this is my sock. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, that's not mine. If, it, if I'm not at Janet's, I actually go to a laundromat and I really like it because it's actually very peaceful. I bring okay. a book and there's like really nice clean ones in OC. So I just, I drive, actually drive all the way down Aww. to do my laundry. That's a secret. Maybe that's a secret tip for anyone who's looking to meet, meet, uh, meet me. Like Mel. Yeah. <laughs> meet me at the meet laundromat. Meet me at the laundromat. It's a very classic friend scene for Ross and I. Oh, this too. is true. All right, guys, it is that time of the week to feed my roommates. It's meal time, babies. So I generally water my plants like two to three times a week. I am a big newbie when it comes to keeping living things alive. But yes, another thing is that I usually water them with like an actual water bottle. So I didn't invest in like a plant watering can, but I kind of also feel like it's like, I am treating them like little humans, right? Like they get a drink out of a water bottle. So let's go, it's feeding time. So I usually start over here on this side and this guy gets the first drink. And then it goes to this guy. Shout out to Rooted, thank you for this beautiful plant. And then third is usually this guy. He's really, really good. He doesn't need a lot of water and you can see that he's fairly alive. Not a lot of dead parts like his other friends. And this one is a snake plant. Doesn't need as much water. I usually water him like maybe once every two weeks, so I skip him usually. This one, oh God, we have a fatality. Plant feeding session complete, and now back to work. Uh, but before I head back to work, I wanted to share a little bit about my glasses. Um, so I have gotten a couple of messages from people asking where I got these frames from. These are Felix Grey blue light blocking lens glasses. And this particular one is the Lovelace frame in a rose mallow color. Um, like probably many of you, Helen, Mel, and myself spend a lot of time in front of screens. Uh, we spend our days on laptops doing work, on our phones doing work. But a couple of years ago, I started noticing that my eyes would get really fatigued and tired by the end of the day because I was spending so much time staring at screens. So a couple of years ago, I started looking into blue light blocking lenses. My first pair actually were from Felix Grey and they were these ones. And these actually have a reading prescription to them. So yes, I'm 35 going on like 50 with reading glasses, but um, you know, good to know that not only are they blue light blocking, but you can add a prescription if you need it. Um, they have a lot of really cute styles. You can see um, Helen over here and Mel over here sporting their styles as well. Um, we definitely encourage you all to protect your eyeballs and take care of them. So um, if you're interested, you can check out Felix Gray. More details in the description. Morning, everyone. So it is a Tuesday. And usually by Tuesday mornings, we get the first cut of our episode that comes out every Thursday. In case you don't know, we do have a podcast. If you found us on our YouTube channel, we have a podcast um, called Asian Boss Girl. You can find us on Spotify and all of the different podcasting platforms. Anyway, so usually Tuesday morning, I like to do my grocery shopping because I like to multitask and uh, listen to the episode, wearing your butt, and then also, you know, go grocery shopping and pretend like, you know, I'm just a consumer of the podcast to see if I like it or not. So I have my ABG crew neck on. I have my PJs underneath. I'm free boobing this thing. 
the reason why I'm going to the grocery store specifically today is to get oranges and also spring onion and I had to put that around the house because that is what my mom does and I really want to keep the traditions alive for um, for our culture so I am gonna go and do that and get ready for Chinese New Year. All right so this is super interesting so you got the bags of mandarin oranges over here and then you have a section over here which I'm pretty sure this is not always here. I think this is just for Chinese New Year where they have the uh, these are mandarin oranges with the stems on it so during Chinese New Year, you place these around the house and you gotta make sure there's some green on it. It's pretty funny that the Whole Foods director does not have pomelo come up automatically. She's like, is this a big grapefruit? I mean, yeah, basically, right? That's basically what it is. But, props to Whole Foods for including different food items that people normally look for for Chinese New Year. So, thank you for doing that. So I am talking to my mom now. Do you want to say hi, mama? Hello. I just went to the market and I got a bunch of oranges because you said you have to buy oranges in, in the gam, which is like the mandarin oranges with the stem on it. So I got that and then I'm going to assemble it and put it together. So the meaning of the pomelo is that it is round and you can roll it. And when you roll it, you can bring luck to you. I guess there are different ways to look at it, like when you're bowling or when you're- lots of money. Yeah, it brings, it's a, it's a monetary uh, symbol. <laughs> so get rich. Okay, and then I have chang oranges. Yeah. So and I'm just gonna stack it on, just like, just put it together, right mom, like this? So she said stack it higher. But I have these other ones. How's this? Yes. Then I get the I get I lay la. Nah, you go pull up lot. Why yeah, you net hang lot. Why yeah, you net get the lot. Hang it Yeah. I get I lay la. Nah, why yeah, you you ask lot. Nah, lot have lot have plan lot. Nah. Yeah, she has spring See? onion too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have spring onion. What does this signify? So part of the Lunar New Year sayings, you would say. Um, Gong hei fa toy, xin hai gin hong, which a lot of people know. Uh, how do you say in Mandarin? Gong si fa tai. Gong si fa tai. Sen ti jian tang. Yes, so those are the, the main ones that a lot of people know, but then you can follow it up with a lot of these other sayings like bu bu go sen, long ma den xin, um, ok si tong men, which is what you would say to kids, and ok si yes. tong men means school smart. So it means like great knowledge. My mom sent me Hong Bao's from Boston, which I don't think you should do because what if it gets lost? These are the Hong Bao's that she sent me in Philips. Look! Wow. These, you see these two characters that are the same? That is the character for big in Chinese. So it says, I get I lay, which is exactly what we had just said earlier for these, these uh, mandarin oranges. These are get. So you're not making this stuff up, mom? <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. Gong hei fa toy. Say thank you, Hong. So another big part of the Lunar New Year is cleaning. Making sure you clean out the house of all the dust, of all the dirt, of all the bad juju. You gotta get that ish out of here before the start of the new year. So at home, back in Boston, my mom would be playing like Chinese music, the gong si gong si gong si ni, like that kind of music, and it'd be popping, and we'd just be cleaning all together. But today I'm just by myself in my sports bra, and uh, I'm gonna bump up some uh, Beyonce instead, and I'll just be, you know, singing and dancing and cleaning and getting all the bad juju out of here. Mic check, one, two, one, two. Hello. We got this for, I think it was for White Elephant. Can you do this again? Hello? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Fail, 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 fail. Hit it. Oh no. Come on. Hello. I got, I got it to it work. work. Yo, 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 yo. Hello, hello. Oh, hello. Thank, Thank you, you to my, my audience, audience of trash. trash. Out, out here. here. Yes. yes, yes. Thank, Thank you. you, I cleaned you up. I cleaned you up real well. well. Hello, Mel Mel. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm wearing my red. Yes, you are. I love how both of us, the only red thing we have are like kind of a scandalous dress. Oh my God, yeah, what is this? Oh my, I covered up though. Actually, not gonna lie, mine is also pretty uh, yeah, you scandalous. Are 
Yeah, where'd you get your dress from? This is from high school. Yeah, it looks like a high school dress. This, I, it literally is a t-shirt dress, I think from like H&M. Oh, that's cute. Like a super cheap. Wait, that's not stinky, you have fleece. No, but it keeps riding up. Yeah, Because I'm old now, I'm taller than when I was in high well, school. <laughs> that is Alana. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so cute. So it's like, he does the, all the stuff with like the poor people and all that. <laughs> no. This is Janet's cousin, Stacy, and she's like, Mel, you wanna, you wanna go into the trunk? <laughs> I'm the pregnant lady while this stuff is so bad. And we're like, girl, you gotta pull down your skirt. <laughs> girl, you too, look at you. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Happy Lunar New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. It is February 12th and we are at GW oh. Supermarket. And today we're gonna have a little Lunar New Year celebration with some close friends. And I'm gonna attempt to make the steamed fish. Um, I've never bought it myself before. So... Whiskey? Whiskey? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get some whiskey too. It's on the menu for tonight as well. Um, but yes, we are gonna attempt to order a fish, a live fish. She's gonna, I'm gonna be holding my... <laughs> you, have, you have to be my mom, you have to be my support, okay? Um, more support from like, Shanky Bat. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it just says liquor, 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 liquor. Chinese cocktail. Chinese cocktail. Oh, here it is. Ooh, cry no leader. Hi everyone, so it's currently Lunar New Year Day and I am actually making homemade dumplings for the first time for dinner. And this recipe is from my mom, so. And in the filling, I've added ground pork, shrimp, Taiwanese cabbage, and some ginger. But for today, we're having dumplings on Lunar New Year because it's a symbol of family reunion and prosperity. So the reason why it, it signifies prosperity is that the shape of it actually looks like old Chinese money, the, the gold, uh, those weights. And I just wanted to celebrate and really start just, you know, celebrating the traditions of our culture because, you know, as I get older, I need to remember these things to pass down to my kids. So today we're making dumplings. making her famous steamed fish. You guys watch our YouTube channel, you know. I've been wanting to try it for a while. Yeah. So today's the day. I'm trying to figure out how to make my own fish. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs> Watching my own YouTube tutorial. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Eric, for yeah. helping. Now Mel's got the dumplings. Homemade dumplings. They made them today. Homemade dumplings. Woo! But I wrapped it myself. Yeah, that's what's inside of them. So there's ground pork, shrimp, and Taiwanese cabbage and ginger. Ooh! What are you making, Jay? Uh, chrysanthemum gin thing. It does fill up. <laughs> I, did, I thought I'd drink a lot, but then like, cheers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is called the Spring Floral, and it's... No, it's called Spring Blossom. <laughs> cheers! Wait, so that guy must be like, Oh shit, they're fighting! so lucky to call you a friend, my little sister, and to see you grow Thank into you such a beautiful, course. confident, strong woman has been amazing. Friend, and I know you don't like this word, but you know, 
a sister. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I cannot wait for what this decade has in store for you, and I am so happy for you, and I love you. Thank you, guys. I cried already. Oh.